I still find it really hard to talk about. Okay, I'm not ready to do this yet. I'm really heartbroken. Oh my god, I've been talking for like 30 minutes. I feel so sweet. Probably getting drunk, I'm not gonna lie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Obviously, oh my god, my hair looks so gross. I washed my hair today and it's really puffy and I'm like, mm, it's gonna go up. So this is kind of a chill video because I don't feel like I'm in the right frame of mind to be filming yet, but I just, I'm lacking on content and I don't know, things are a bit weird at the minute. So obviously I've not posted in quite a while on my YouTube due to family reasons. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, I unfortunately lost my granddad a week ago. I've still not come to terms with it. Oh god. And I still find it really hard to talk about. Stop getting upset. My granddad used to always watch our YouTube videos. Like he always used to like our pictures on Facebook. So I have a page on Facebook. I'll link it below. If you want to follow it, you can follow it. But it's sort of normally where I put announcements of things or my Instagram posts automatically posted there. And I made that basically so that my granddad could see it. And my nan's actually quite cool. She's on Instagram. But I made it for basically my two granddads and my other nan who aren't on Instagram so they can see my posts and things. Bless him, he was quite good and quite tech savvy for his age. But yeah, I know that my granddad wouldn't be happy if I wasn't posting now and if I was not being strong. <laughs> not not being strong, but I just mean he was a very strong man and I don't think he'd be very impressed if I was slacking on content. I don't even know where I'm going with this video to produce for you. I didn't really like to post because I'm not very motivated at the minute, obviously. My granddad, oh my god. I know he'd hate you seeing me like this. It's just really hard. Oh God. Okay, I'm not ready to do this yet. This is so difficult. Okay, I'm a bit better. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows how close I was to my granddad, how much my granddad meant to me. Like literally, my granddad was my world. Just granddad bears had a special spot in my heart, you know. I just cared for him so much. He was um, paralyzed from sort of the waist downwards and he used to struggle with walking and things. But like whenever I was with him, I'd always make sure that he was able. God, it's really difficult. I don't know, my granddad was just very, very special to me. And obviously he'll always be special to me, but he's the first person I've lost that's quite close to me. I was very fortunate to have all my grandparents still I was well, 24. And they're just things that I wish that my granddad would have seen, like me having children, me getting married, you know, things like that. I'm really grateful because Dan got to meet him. Unfortunately, it was only the once, but Dan did get to meet him. And that means a lot to me, like so much that he got to meet him. It's very special to me. It's just really difficult at the minute. I find it really hard. I feel like I try and occupy myself doing things and then all of a sudden it just comes crashing down on me. And I think, oh my God, why am I, why am I doing things when I've just lost my granddad? And I'm finding it really hard. And that's why I've been like a little bit quiet on social media my granddad went into hospital three months ago so the past three months i've been putting on a bit of a front obviously it's been at the back of my mind every single day i got to speak to him quite often on the phone while he was in hospital got to facetime him a couple of times and the last facetime we had i actually got a photo of him <laughs> he was that cold in the ipad up a bit which is always going to be quite special to me but yeah my granddad was like one of my best friends and he actually means the world to me so I know Georgia mentioned on her YouTube about getting a tattoo in like memory of granddad. I've always wanted a butterfly tattoo. I've seen one on Pinterest that I really like. It's like two butterflies and it looks like one's me and the other one. I think I'm going to get two butterflies. I don't know where I'm going to get it yet. But it's going to be like my granddad coming to visit me. If you're watching this and you've, you know, messaged me, thank you so much. It does mean so much to me and I'm sorry if I haven't replied. It's just taking it out of me a little bit. But yeah, I'm so grateful and we've seen every message and, you know, as a family, we've sort of shared who's messages and whatnot and we're so grateful. So thank you for that. But that's just a life update. I'm really heartbroken. Like, granddad wouldn't want to see me slacking on my content and he wouldn't want to see me upset. So, you know, I've just got to keep going for granddad. He was really strong. So he was a paratrooper back in the day. And I've also thought about it and I'm really, really scared to even say this because I know you're going to hold me to it. But... I'm thinking about booking a trip to Dubai, whether my family and Dan want to come with me. That's another story. Who wants to come? You might as well come. But I'm thinking about raising money for like a paratrooper foundation. I don't, I've not looked into it a lot yet. I literally just had the thought the other day because I've always wanted to jump out of a plane. But I'm too scared. But I feel like my granddad will give me a reason to jump out of the plane because he'd done it like 18 times, I think it was. He'd done 18 jumps. So I'm thinking he might give me the courage to jump out of the plane. And if I'm doing it for a charity, then I've got to do it. So... If you want to hold me to it, you can hold me to it. But um, I want to do it over Dubai because I always wanted to do it over there anyway. Over like the Palm. And we went to Dubai two years ago. 
they were fully booked so I couldn't actually book in. But maybe there was a reason they were fully booked. Maybe I was meant to do it for my granddad. So I would really like to go back and do it over the palm. So yeah, you can hold me to that. I'll try my best, I promise. And I'll obviously vlog it. Yeah, my granddad was a paratrooper. He was a professional footballer and he worked at the police. My granddad was amazing. He was really inspirational and he was just very special to me. And yeah, so this video is dedicated to my granddad. Granddad Les, I love you so much and I miss you so, so much. Anyway, so I just wanted to give you a bit of a life update while I've been a bit quiet. Grieving's a horrible thing, isn't it? I don't know if any of you have grieved before, but it's not a nice thing. And I don't know, I'm just trying to keep myself busy. But today, literally, I've worked from home and I've been on call since 9am till 5.30pm. Like, all day was calls. And obviously, because I'm a personal assistant, so, like, I have to do all, like, emails and type in and all that for my boss i literally finished work i had half an hour to get ready and then some of you may know you might have seen my announcement the other day that i've actually joined a management company they're called elite i'm really excited to have signed to like a management they are so lovely liam's the one i've been in contact with most and he's just honestly so lovely and he's so helpful and i'm really excited to sort of start a new adventure with them so yeah make sure you go and give them a follow um you might see me popping up on their page a couple of times. But that's really exciting. I'll put the little end announcement here. This is their announcement. They had a Zoom call tonight. Sort of get to know all the other girls. And I've met some of the girls. My friend Millie's in the management as well. And we've got a really exciting launch party for the management. So they said it's going to be about July, depending on lockdown. So I'm hoping that we're going to be going to Manchester for the weekend to meet all the girls and meet the management team and stuff. So I joined that Zoom call tonight. That was really fun, actually. So thank you so much for all the comments on their post. That was really kind of you all, if you commented and if you like their post. So I asked on my Instagram story, just like some questions so we can just catch up a bit. I don't know what you've got to ask. I haven't even looked at it yet. But let's see what's going down. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to put the questions on the screen as well. So you can just see who's asked them. I'm going to do like just a couple because I just need to get motivated. And I don't know, this is literally like been such a shock to the system i was on a roll and i was so happy with how everything was going and then i just had a massive hold up but things like that happened in life it was right for me to have a break have a pause sort of thing and then come back into it anyway let's get on with the questions okay so i've had a lot of questions sort of saying how are you how are you doing which is really lovely that was actually the first three questions i got which is so nice because it's shows that people actually care and i don't know want to know how you are i guess let's do this one here sophia has asked how are you? Obviously, as you will know from the start of this video, I'm not doing great. Um, I could be better. I've got a lot of exciting things to look forward to. I've got so much coming up, you know, to do, to keep me occupied, to keep me going. I'm good and I'm bad. I have really bad moments of every day at the minute, purely because of granddad, but that's normal, apparently. I've not really grieved before, so I'm not sure what's normal and what's not, but the people I've spoken to have said that that's completely normal to feel like that and to feel up and down all day and stuff. I have my moments in the day, but I'm just trying to be strong and just trying to push on a little bit, and it's, I don't know, it's, it's a bit tricky at the moment. Things are still a bit raw, and yeah, that's basically it. I'm just trying to be as good as I can be and as best as I can be for now but thank you so much for asking that question that's so kind so you wear extensions in your hair i think she might mean do i do wear extensions every now and then mostly for photos and for like youtube today this is just all my natural hair it's grown quite a lot recently actually but i do wear extensions they are from foxy locks they are real hair and they are such good quality they're a little bit more pricey i think but they are really really good and really recommend someone said when's your birthday it's literally 10 days after amelie and everyone knows when amelie's birthday is but my birthday is the 23rd of august i'm gonna be 25 this year and i'm not okay with that i just know i'm not okay with that at all when my mum and dad were 25 they had me and i'm like imagine me having a child like no my mum and dad were married and had me by the time they were 25 and i'm like oh my god don't even 25 years old that makes me feel really old gross <laughs> this one is a really good question anna said how has your mental health been in lockdown i feel like this is probably quite relatable to everyone like through lockdown but i feel like everyone's mental health has been a bit like do you know what i mean it's been a bit up and down i've struggled i've had my days i've sometimes i feel like when i work from home i go from literally like one room to another room to another room like it's really difficult I'm lucky that I've got family around me, I've got a house to live in, I've got food, I've got, you know what I mean, I've got a job. Obviously at times my job's been a bit testing, it's hard work and I'm, it's tiring. And when we're so busy at work, my days are quite long, you know, I do silly hours sometimes and I don't know. 
it's, it's been quite testing. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I get out for like walks. I think everyone's been tested in this whole lockdown. Like it's not the norm, is it? It's, it's weird for all of us. So yeah, it's, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend, oh, I've got this perfect life. I was talking to my dad about this the other day, actually. He was saying like, people probably see from Instagram and think, oh my God, you have such a perfect life. This was a day that I was like struggling and it's not like that at all. So I'm actually thinking about doing like a day in the life. You can see, or maybe a week in the life. So you can see my whole week and how it actually is because it's not all pictures and pretty scenery. It's not like that. So I'm thinking of maybe just taking you on my week's journey to show you that an actual insight to my life and to show you that my Instagram is only what I want you to see. I don't know, it's difficult. I just want to be like open and real. It's not been great, but then I suppose no one's has. So, okay, next question. Favourite brand to work with? Oh, this is tricky. So obviously I've been doing this for like way too long. I've been doing like vlogging for, <laughs> oh my God, nearly 10 years. It's like coming up to nine years in the summer. I've worked with a lot of different companies you know different things obviously the cozy are one of my favorites to work with because they are just so sweet and they're so lovely if you want to use my code it's robin10 get yourself a cozy you know they're so nice to work with we love sissy anyway i really love working with them because they're so sweet one of my favorite brands to work with was obviously river island because i've shopped at river island since i was like a kid river island was like my go-to when i was at college so when they got in contact didn't really believe it. It was just like a dream collab. And obviously doing it with my sisters as well was like the best thing ever. There's so many lovely brands out there. I can't really say anything bad about any of them that I've worked with. So Ruby said, opinion on what Boris said. I also love all of you. You are so genuine. That is so sweet. Thank you, Ruby. I'm not going to lie. Didn't really see what Boris said. I was working at the time and I just saw everyone's Instagram stories like, oh my God, this is happening. I opened up on the 21st of June, whatever it was. So don't actually know what the actual plan is. And I'm not going to get my hopes up. That's all I keep thinking is, not going to get my hopes up because it could just get pushed back. If the schools go back and then everyone gets corona again, it's just going to get pushed back. So I'm not going to get my hopes up at all. The reason I've not really looked into it or read much about it is because I've just lost my granddad. And I'm like, at the end of the pandemic, I should be seeing my grandparents, spending time with my grandparents, taking my grandma pie mash, you know. And now I know that's not going to happen with one particular granddad. I know he won't really think like this. A lot of people will be reunited with their loved ones and... I just know that I'm not going to be reunited with my granddad properly, if that makes sense. I don't know, I've been a bit like harsh on the whole subject. I don't really want to think too much about it. So it's kind of a bit of a sore one at the minute. But hopefully we'll be out of lockdown soon. Hopefully we can move forward with life. And hopefully lockdown will be like a, oh my God, do you remember when? Do you remember when we were in lockdown? Do you know what I mean? I'm hoping anyway. Oh my God. Lucy has asked me, do you see engagement? babies or moving out anytime soon engagement wouldn't be my choice that'd be dan's choice so you'll have to ask him for that maybe hop into his dms and ask him what he's thinking and let me know so i can get my nails done in time no i'm joking <laughs> babies not anytime soon me and dan met through a pandemic and we've not had the chance to go on loads of holidays do loads of stuff at the weekend so we need to make time for us before we think about anything like that that's not on the cards anytime soon but moving out is on the cards we are currently saving while we're in the pandemic. We might as well just save as much money as we can. That is definitely on the cards. We are looking at the moment. We're not intending to move out now. We've got things to do before we move out, which we need to spend money on and stuff. But yeah, we are looking just to get a bit of an idea. We need to learn what the hell you have to do when you move out. Like mortgages, how much money we can deposits. I don't know. We're going to look into that. But we do want to buy. We don't want to rent. Not sure if it's going to be Essex or Kent. So if you've got this far watching the video, let me know. What side of the water is the best side? Essex or Kent? Obviously I'm from Essex, so don't stick up for town. No, I'm joking. Evie Jessica has asked, when is my next YouTube video going out? So I've done this on my story tonight and I feel like people think I'm gonna answer this on my stories, but actually you're just gonna be featured in my video. Um, So this video will be going out Sunday. So happy Sunday. That's my next YouTube video, this one. Thanks, Evie Jessica. Okay, another question. How do you gain self-confidence? That's a really hard one. Oh my God, I've been talking for 30 minutes. That's a really hard one. I don't feel that confident in myself at the minute, especially. Um, I've got loads of things that I wanna change. I don't know, I don't think anyone's fully 100% confident. They might say it, but I don't think anyone is always fully confident. I'm just quite timid, I'm quite, I'm not shy, I'm not confident, but gain self-confidence by loving yourself, no matter what you look like. You just need to love yourself. That is literally it. No one is 100% confident all the time. So just love yourself for you and you'll gain confidence. Oh, this is a really good one. Would you ever do a brand deal with a brand you weren't that keen on? I know quite a few people that have done this before. They'll slag a brand off, but then go and promote them. And I'm like, 
that notes it right with me. If I wouldn't actually go and buy something from a brand, I wouldn't promote it. I had someone in my DMs a couple of weeks ago, I'm not going to say who and I'm not going to say what, but they said, we want to work with you, we want to send you this. How do I wear this? It wasn't something that I would wear myself. So would I put it on my Instagram and pretend that I would wear it to everyone else? No, I couldn't do that. Not for payment, not for free, not for anything. No, I would not work with a brand that I wasn't keen on. If I wouldn't buy from you, I wouldn't work with you. Do you know what I mean? Oh, someone said, do you appreciate your fan pages? That's really cute. I love them all so much. I have only a few myself most of them are only fan pages that sort of support me and stuff all my pictures and all that but of course i love them they're so sweet and they go out their way to do things like that and i just honestly i try my best to keep up with like edits and things and every now and then i just go through a massive bulk of them but they are so lovely and i do whenever i see one of like my fan pages on my story i always try and reply to them like on my story i mean on my on my instagram i always try and reply to them and engage with them alicia has asked what is my boyfriend's insta and his brother's i'll link them below if not, go on my following, type in Dan, James and George and it'll come up. It'll come up. Marie has asked, oh my God, there are literally so many questions and how are you? People are so sweet. So Eva has asked, are you closer to your mum or your dad? I feel like I'm really close with both of them. My dad for different reasons to my mum. Me and my dad like go to football together. We're like, you know, I can sit and watch football with him. To be honest, I can talk to both my parents about absolutely anything. And my mum I'm close to for like shopping reasons. But they're both really good at fashion as well. I just, I think I'm really close to both of them to be fair. Like I could literally go to both of them for absolutely anything. And I'm really lucky to be able to do that. So I don't really know. That's a really hard question. I think I'm really close to both of them. Is that a really bad answer? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not a great answer. Is it? So Casey May has asked how long have me and Dan been together? Well, you guys want to know about Dan a lot. I feel like he's been in my life forever. We're like the same person, if that makes sense. Been together officially eight months. Officially. Well, this is a good one. Would you want any more tattoos? If so, which ones? So this is from my girl, Jasmine. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. She's so nice. Tattoos. I said earlier, if you were watching at the start, that I would like a tattoo of some butterflies for my granddad. I really like dainty, pretty tattoos that you can't really see. So obviously I have two tattoos. One just on my rib cage and one just by my hip bone. They're quite like hidden no one really knows they're there if that makes sense unless i'm in a bikini which is blooming not very often at the minute so hayley bieber has like about 25 tattoos but they're all really hidden like i didn't even know she had that many tattoos i really like dainty tattoos that are quite pretty and i don't know i really want something here but i just don't know what i want there um but i save so many tattoo things to pinterest i, I just love looking at tattoos and seeing what other people have and i quite like behind the ear and stuff but i don't know i haven't really got any plans yeah oh i want one here on my wrist as well but i'm not sure what so watch the space it'll probably be vlogged if i get one yeah, i do want one but i'm just not 100 percent sure what and where i want it yet what are you most looking forward to once lockdown is over thanks melissa we love melissa i'm looking forward to like normality and to be able to just go for a brunch with my friends and just see people i'm looking forward to spending time and quality time with people going back to a football match going on holiday that's my first honestly as soon as i can and as soon as i know there's a hundred percent a date in place i'm booking a holiday and i'm going but yeah probably a holiday going back to football with my dad and me and dan haven't been to our first arse match yet either so i'm excited for that and just going to brunch with lauren and millie and bella seeing all my girl mates probably getting drunk i'm not gonna lie it'll probably be weekend after weekend as soon as i get out of this lockdown but yeah there's so much i'm looking forward to and they're sort of the main things let's do one more so my last question is dream brand to collab with this is funny because obviously like i've been making mood boards and stuff at the minute of like collabs i'd love one of my dream collabs would be opoly because i literally like every time i go out i wear opoly like opoly is my go-to outfits for everything so opoly would be probably up there couture club would be up there because i absolutely love the couture club sisters and seekers absolutely love sll the label all over that there's genuinely so many that i would love to work with but they're probably my top 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 yeah i think that concludes that hopefully you'll see me clapping with some amazing brands soon because i'm really excited anyway this was just a quick life update and a little bit to get chatty you know i'm gonna love you and leave you please make sure that you are following my instagram because you'll be able to see like more regular updates and if you don't follow me on instagram you will be wondering why the hell i haven't posted in ages instagram will update you don't worry so yeah follow my instagram obviously i'm on tiktok don't have a little thing for that yet so i'll put that in my description box make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel let me know more videos you want to see i've got a list on my phone at the minute that i've got to just smash out and get done because 
I want to give you good content and I do enjoy editing and filming and all that stuff and I really enjoy seeing your comments come through like oh my god love this video you know it makes me really happy so I don't know I just want to give you good content and I really hope to see you back for another video thank you so much for watching thank you for all your lovely messages over the past week or so it means so much to me and my family and all your edits and everything you're just amazing but love you all lots and lots have a lovely Sunday and I'll see you here again next week Bye.